guys, I'm Alpha Zuturagi and I'm a third year student of the Genetic Engineering Department of Western Mindanao State University. And in this video, we'll be talking about the myths, facts, and all about genetic engineering. So, I asked some of my friends from social media if they know what the myths that they used to believe when they hear the term genetic engineering or genetic engineering. And if they have some questions for us. So, let's start with uh, Kobe. So, he says that only genetic engineers can measure plants. So basically, there are other branch of engineering that can do surveying or can survey a land. Civil engineers, I think, uh, environmental engineers do. But no, no profession are more inclined to the technicalities of land surveying than genetic engineers. Genetic engineers are more inclined to the technicalities of land surveying because uh, we specialize in this field of work. So next is from Jones. He said that, I used to believe that genetic engineers uses equipment for photography. So, I think yung minimin dito ni Jams is yung camera light na instrument natin na Theodolite and Total Station na napagkakama lang madalas na camera, especially ng mga bata. If nag-survey tayo, makikita na lang natin yan na nag-posing din sila. But, contrary to what it might look like, hindi po siya camera and we don't use it for photography. At Theodolite and Total Station, ginagamit po siya to measure a vertical and horizontal angle. But, unlike Theodolite, yung Total Station is equipped with EDM, means electronic distance measurement. Means, matik na yung distance na mamemeasure, unlike Theodolite, Theodolite na manually minemeasure yung distance. So, next. Next is from Arvina. She said that, all about you pa ba yung genetic? So, the answer is no. Genetic engineering is a wide field of work, and it is not limited sa land surveying only. There, there are many opportunities that we can do if we can finish BS Genetic Engineering. We can be a hydrographic surveyor that measure, analyze, and maintain the flow and quality of different bodies of water. We can also be cartographer, mapping specialist, GIS specialist, risk analysis engineer, land surveyor, hydrographic surveyor, and genetic engineering educator. Next is from Jenny. So, she said that I heard about sa Christy, if ito ang namang sumpang yun, umaabot ng ilang years sa engineering if tumatambay ko. So, I heard about this myth too, but I can't testify its authenticity because uh, yung batch namin is ilang months lang kapag face-to-face class and pandemic happened. Uh, all I can say is, huwag lang tumambay, gumawa din ng homeworks and problem sets para di tablan ng sumpa. So that's it for this video guys. I hope I cleared some of the misconceptions and answered your questions about genetic engineering. So thank you for watching.